Okay, boys, we're working on the TRC 451 here again this morning, Saturday morning, and uh, I just put a pair of headphones on the external speaker jack. Audio is very low, and I mean extremely low, to non-existent. But uh, I know my headphones were heating up, like getting hot, <laughs> and that only mean one thing: that there's voltage going through the headphones to ground, and the heat was just being dissipated in the headphones. No good. So I checked it with my uh, voltmeter here, and I was actually getting 6.7 volts across the uh, headphone jack. Not good at all. So I uh, decided to pin out the uh, connections for the audio amplifier, which is the UPC 1182H, and pin 1 is audio in, uh, pin 7 is voltage DC, and pin 6 was uh, output. Well, and well, pin 5 and 6 are kind of tied together, sort of. Um, but uh, so I checked both capacitors. First one being this little doodaddy right here. He's a four point or a forty-seven UF at uh, ten volt, or as some people have corrected me in the past, forty-seven microfarad <laughs> at ten volts. I tested this one, and that one tested fine. On the other hand, this one over here. Which is 330 microfarad at 16 volts showed a dead short circuit across my meter. So, yep, that is why I'm getting 6.7 volts across the uh, speakers. So, we're going to put in a couple new capacitors and replace this one. And just because this fella here was in the same circuit, and he's probably, probably a bit uh, about ready to get cranky itself, so I'm going to replace two of these. With two new ones, and we're going to see if we get some life out of this thing. Fingers crossed. Well, guys, <coughs> just another little update on this uh, TRC 451. Um, the receiver on this thing is definitely out to lunch for sure. I've got a white noise generator that I built a while back, RF noise generator, and I've got that hooked up to the antenna connector. Uh, I've even had the external, I even had an outdoor antenna hooked up to it. Um, there's, it's hearing a signal there, but it is very, very weak, very weak. Um, I have confirmed that the volume control is working. The uh, RF gain uh, is working. The noise blinker is working. The squelch is working. Um, the dimmer, this actual switch is kind of messed up. I'm going to see if I've got another one to put in there, but yeah. You can actually rotate this fully right around. <laughs> but, um, again, the S meter sticks. But the receiver, it, it's hearing the signal, but it's very, very, very weak. Very weak. And uh, I'm thinking something is taking the signal from the antenna shorten it to ground or dragging it to ground and not allowing it to fully go through the whole receiver circuit. Part of it is going through but the majority of not if that makes any sense. Um, the audio amplifier <coughs> is fine. Uh, I did find two shorted capacitors. These guys here. Uh, that would be C132 and C136. Two of these here were shorted out. I replaced them. I got a bit of a I got a marked black on top with a black marker just so I know that I've, I've changed them. 
these two here were changed previously along with um, the electrolytic in the VCO circuit and this capacitor here is blue this looks out of place to me I'm wondering if that was changed and if it is, is it even the right value? but uh, anyway, just a little update we've got receive but again it's very very weak so I'm going through the schematic here especially around the audio amplifier circuit because the receive comes in and gets amplified by the audio amp and out it goes so signal's got the audio's got to get to here for this to amplify and uh, somewhere before TR36 it seems like the signal is getting is getting knocked out so I'm not sure if it's a front end damage here transistors fried could be anything going on here I don't know at the moment but one thing for sure the signal is getting to the speaker but very weakly so that is where we sit now with the TRC 451 and uh, I got another guy contacting me today um, regarding the output transistors in his TRC 451 exact same radio we got their funnels blown out by looks of it so We'll have another 451 to work after this 451, possibly. Anyways, just a little update. It's a work in progress here. I have no doubt we'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> Not sure how long, but we uh, will see how it goes. So we've got re got receive. But very, 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 very weak. It almost seems something on the audio. You almost like something on the audio output is kind of being dragged down. Could be anything. And the VC even got uh, another transistor that was found that was bad. It was the uh, SP525, this one here. He does the uh, receive, he's part of the receive transmit switching circuit for the radio. That one was toast. Um, so I replaced that. Improved a little bit. The receiver was missing its 8 uh, volt rail. I had Ray help me with this a little bit there a couple nights ago and uh, we discovered that the 8 volt was missing from these transistors down here so yep yeah, with his help we found out that these guys here were completely dead so we swapped out that transistor and we got this section here alive again but anyways, um, need to put an RF signal generator on her now, and uh, we're going to have to uh, basically go through the circuit section by section and figure out where the hell the signal is disappearing to, because it surely is disappearing somewhere. Something's drawn it down. Hey, anyway, folks. Just an update on the TRC 451. And that would be Mr. Tabby.
Heavy. What do you ask? What do you ask? Huh? Say hi to everybody on YouTube. Say hi. <laughs> anyway, guys. 7-3. We'll chat on the next video. All the best.